Welcome to Great Day Live. I'm Claudia Coffey alongside Joanne Dixon. And for this first half hour of the show, we are focusing on all things pets. We are at Feeders Pet Supply in Middletown. Cannot wait to get into the show. Yeah, we have partnered with them all year long to learn how to take even better care of our furry friends. And today we are spending a little more time even with our human friends here. We are. We're always happy to catch up with Tabby McKinney here at Feeders. And, and Tabby, when we think about the holidays, I mean, we think of our to-do list, but I feel like we should shift some focus too to our furry friends because they need some extra care too and and you have tips on what we can do to make sure the holidays are good for them oh most definitely I mean the holidays are stressful for everybody our pets included I mean if you think about it we've got family coming over we're traveling we're putting up decorations we're doing all these crazy things that they just are like what the heck are you guys doing so it's really important to keep them calm uh, and keep them safe that's really the thing as as we are doing more we have to remember that that's stressing them out too. And Tavi, you mentioned like guests visiting from out of town and all that stuff. What can we kind of think ahead and, and get or do to, to ease that? Oh them? yeah, definitely. You know, we've talked about this a few times. We are definitely your headquarters for all things calming. Um, we have everything from collars that they can wear that release a pheromone to a plug-in that releases the pheromone that just kind of calms them down. It's very similar to what the mother gives off when they're nursing. Um, we also have some edible type things that uh, can just kind of chill them out. Things like chamomile and and whatnot. Um, very important to just let them know everything's okay and just kind of bring them down a notch during the holiday season. You talked about edible things. I think we get worried when there's lots of extra food around. I have a compulsive eating cat, right? And so I'm so nervous when she sees things on the floor that she's going to eat like everything and, and get sick. What should we make sure we especially keep away from our animals? Okay, so I know that's an excellent question because I know this time of year the tendency is to want to give them whatever we're eating too. And that can be okay, but typically it's not. So so you have to remember that things like onions and garlic are not good for our pets. So if you want to give them some of that turkey, for example, you want to make sure that it's unseasoned. Um, sweet potato is an excellent option, but again, let's leave off the marshmallows and the brown sugar, all the things that we like. Um, we also want to keep them away from our special plants this time of year. Poinsettias in particular are toxic, and we know our kitty friends do like to chew on them. So we want to make sure that we keep those where they can't get to them. And what about like if we are going out of town and going to take our pets with us? Being in the car, I think that like when I was young, we just threw the dog in the car, but like it, that is not safe. Yeah, you're totally correct. That is not safe. The most important thing when you're traveling with your pets is you want to try to keep them contained. Uh, heaven forbid you're in an accident. You don't want them just loose in your car. So we have lots of different things that you can achieve that with. Um, for doggies, we've got harnesses that actually go into the seat belt. So they literally just have their own little place in the seat. And then obviously we have different types of carriers and things that are rated to be in a car. In the unlikely event that you do have an accident. Oh, great tips there, Tabby. Thank you so much. As always, you can visit feederspetsupply.com for more information.